Neapolitan Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Neapolitan cuisine has ancient historical roots that date back to the Greco-Roman period, which was enriched over the centuries by the influence of the different cultures that controlled Naples and its kingdoms, such as that of Aragon and France. Historical Background Typical Ingredients Pasta Tomatoes Vegetables Cheese Seafood Meat Bread Pasta dishes Pasta dishes of the poor Frittata with macaroni Richer pasta dishes Seafood pasta dishes Rice dishes Pizza Fish and seafood dishes Vegetable dishes Fried food Side dishes Savory pies Cakes and desserts Holiday food Christmas Easter food Other holidays Since Naples was the capital of the Kingdom of Naples, its cuisine took much from the culinary traditions of all the Campania region, reaching a balance between dishes based on rural ingredients and seafood dishes. A vast variety of recipes is influenced by the local aristocratic cuisine, such as timbalo and the sarta superscript 1 di riso, pasta, or rice dishes with very elaborate preparation and dishes from popular traditions prepared with inexpensive but nutritionally healthy ingredients, like pasta e fagioli and other pasta dishes with vegetables. Fruit Wine Naples has a history that goes back many centuries, the city itself predates many others in that area of the world, including Rome. It has endured the Greeks, Romans, the plague, and dozens of successions of kings from France and Spain and each culture left a mark on the way food is prepared in Naples and Campania itself. Liqueurs Neapolitan street food Finding the connections between modern and Greco-Roman culinary traditions is not always easy. Among the traces of classical culinary tastes, plates from the period of Greek rule found in Magna Graecia depict fishes and mollusks, an indication that seafood was appreciated during that period. Frescoes from Pompeii depict fruit baskets filled with. An excavation at Aplantis in the Villa Papia shows a fresco of a cake, the ingredients of which are not yet known. The Roman garum is the ancient sauce most similar to that used for the modern colatura di alici, typical of cedera. It can be traced back to the sweet-sour taste typical of the Roman cooking described by Apicius, along with the use of raisins in salty dishes, like the pizza di scarola, or the bracioli al raga superscript 1. The use of wheat in the modern pastiera cake typical of Easter, could have had originally a symbolic meaning, related to cults of Artemis, Sibylle, and Ceres and pagan rituals of fertility, celebrated around the spring equinox. The name strafoli, a Christmas cake, comes from the Greek word iioei superscript 3i superscript 3i, iii. The Spanish and French sovereignty in Naples initiated the difference between the cuisine of the aristocrats and that of the poorer classes. The former was characterized by elaborate, more cosmopolitan, dishes, and a greater number of expensive ingredients, including meat. The poor used foods that were cheaper and could be grown locally. These were embellished over the centuries and came into contact with the influence of the aristocratic cuisine, so that today traditional recipes of the poorer classes have often acquired great quality and taste, while preserving the original simple ingredients. 
One of the most famous chefs from the nobles' courts in Naples was Vincenzo Carrado. The nutritional value of the Napolitan cuisine was discovered by the American epidemiologist Ansel Keys in the 1950, being later often mentioned by epidemiologists as one of the best examples of the Mediterranean diet. There is a great variety of Neapolitan pastas. Pasta was not invented in Naples, but one of the best grades available is found quite close by, in Gragnano, a few kilometers from the capital. It was here also that the industrial production of pasta started, with the techniques to dry and preserve it. The main ingredient is durum wheat, harder to manipulate than soft wheat so the industrial production had greater success than in northern Italy, where homemade pasta is more popular. Traditionally in Naples pasta must be cooked al dente, while soft pasta is not tolerated. The most popular variety of pasta, besides the classic spaghetti and linguine, are the pacheri and the ziti, long pipe-shaped pasta broken by hand before cooking and usually topped with Neapolitan Raga Superscript 1. Pasta with vegetables is usually also prepared with pasta mista, which is now produced industrially as a distinct variety of pasta, but which was once sold cheaply, made up of broken pieces of different kinds of pasta. Handmade gnocchi, prepared with flour and potatoes, have become a popular method of overcoming the Neapolitan disdain for potatoes. In 1949 W.H. Auden wrote Igor Stravinsky from Forio in Ischia, Forio thinks us crazy because we eat potatoes, which are to them a mark of abject poverty. In reporting this, Francis Stieg Muller, a longtime resident of Naples, Remarks on the French-inspired Gata Superscript 2, in which the potato complement is nearly overwhelmed by cheese, ham, and other ingredients. Some of the more modern varieties of pasta, like the Sialatoli, are also becoming popular. Tomatoes entered the Neapolitan cuisine during the 18th century. The industry of preserving tomatoes originated in 19th century Naples, resulting in the export to all parts of the world of the famous Palladi and the Concentrato. There are traditionally several ways of preparing homemade tomato preserves, either bottled tomato juice, or chopped into pieces. The famous conserva tomato is cooked for a long time and becomes a dark red cream with a velvety texture. Some of Campanian dishes using vegetables, like the Parmigiana di Melanzane or Peperoni Ripiani can become real stars of the table. Some of the most typical products are Friarielli, Sicorium Endivia, Smooth or Curly, several types of broccoli, Verza, and others, used to prepare the Minestra Maritata. Different types of beans, chickpeas, and other legumes are very popular. Zucchini are widely used, the largest ones are fried with vinegar and fresh mint. The male flowers of zucchini can be fried in a salty dough. Regular red and yellow peppers are widely used, and a local variety of small green peppers, pepperoncini verdi, are usually fried. Salad is a side dish of many dishes, especially seafood ones. Lettuce, and more often the incappucciata, more crispy, is mixed with carrots, fennel, ricola, radishes, traditionally the long and spicy ones, which today are more and more rare, almost completely replaced by the round and sweeter ones. Black olives used in Neapolitan cooking are always the ones from Gaeta. During the Second World War, it was not rare, in the poorest families, to use less appealing ingredients. Recipes have been reported of pasta cooked with empty pods of fava beans or peas. Cheeses, both soft and aged, 
are an important part of the Italian diet and also have their place in Neapolitan cooking, some recipes are descended from very old Roman traditions. Starting from the freshest ones, the most used are Neapolitan cooking has always used an abundance of all kinds of seafood from the Dirinian Sea. Dr. Johnson's friend Hester Thrale was enthusiastic for the most excellent, the most incomparable fish I ever ate, red mullets large as our mackerel, and of singularly high flavor, beside calamaro or ink fish, a dainty worth of imperial luxury. In 1759, when Ferdinando Gallieni was sent as secretary to the Neapolitan ambassador in Paris, he pined for familiar foods, he found no fruit, no cheese, no good seafood a euro everything here does violence to the Neapolitan temperament. Recipes use either less expensive fishes, in particular anchovies, and other fishes, like the ones used to prepare the zuppa, scorfano, tracina, cuoxio, or fishes of medium and large size, like spigola and orate, presently sold mainly from fish farms, or like dentis, sarago, and petsigna. Fishes of very small size are also used. The bacala and stockfish, imported from northern Europe seas, are either fried or cooked with potatoes and tomatoes. Most cephalopods are employed, as well as crustacea. Shellfish cause, vongoli, canalaki, sconsigli are employed in many seafood meals, and sometimes are eaten raw, but this happens more and more seldom nowadays. Clams require a special note. The Vongola varace is Venera P. Decasata, not to be confused with the Philippines clam, very frequently found on the markets, and often called varace in northern Italy's markets, and the Lupino. It is now forbidden by law to sell and eat the sea dates, as their fishing seriously damages coastline rocks, mainly in the Sorrento Peninsula. Meat is not used as frequently in Neapolitan cooking as in the cuisine of northern Italy. The most common kinds of meat used in Neapolitan cooking are The most popular bread is pain cafone prepared with natural yeast, cooked in a wood-fired oven with hard crust and large holes inside. Also used are sfilatini, somewhat similar to a French baguette, but shorter and thicker. Rosetta rolls and other varieties are also present. From the classic pumarola to the simplest aglio e uaglio, down to a wide variety of sauces, with vegetables or seafood, up to the raga superscript one, southern Italy's creativity enhances its pasta dishes. Cuisine traditionally attributed to the poor often mixes pasta with legumes. The most popular are, pasta e fagioli, sometimes enriched with pork rind, pasta e sessi, pasta e lenticciette, pasta e paselli. Nowadays sisarci have become very rare. Similarly to legumes, other vegetables are associated with pasta, like pasta e potate, pasta e cavalfior, pasta e zucca. The most traditional cooking method consists in cooking the condiments first, for instance, pan fry garlic with oil, then add steamed beans, or fry onion and celery, then add potatoes cut into little dices, then, after frying, water is added, brought to boiling temperature, salted, and pasta is added and stirred frequently. While cooking with all the other ingredients, pasta does not lose its starch, which would have lost if cooked separately in salty water and then drained. Cooking pasta together with vegetables makes the sauce more creamy, and is a way of preparing pasta distinct from the tradition of noble cuisine, which prepares similar dishes in a way more similar to broth or soups, adding pasta after cooking it separately. 
One more hearty dish in the cuisine of the poor is pasta simply cooked with cheese and eggs stracciatella. Spaghetti, dressed with tomato sauce, black olives from gata and capers are called spaghetti alla putanesca. An imaginative recipe was created on the tables of the poor, where the expensive shellfishes were missing, spaghetti, dressed with cherry tomatoes sauce, garlic, oil, and parsley are called spaghetti alla evangeli fajut, where clams are present only in the imagination of the people eating the dish. The frittata can be prepared with pasta leftovers, either with tomato sauce or white. Pasta, cooked al dente is mixed with raw scrambled egg and cheese, then pan fried. It can be enriched with many different ingredients. Must be cooked on both sides, flipped with the help of a plate. If well cooked, it is compact, and can be cut into slices. It can be eaten during outdoor lunches. The ricotta diffusilla, very fresh and light, was originally sold in handmade baskets. Commonly found now as a filling for certain pastas, the ricotta fresca, eaten both fresh and as side ingredient, salty, slightly aged, typical of the Easter period, the caciatala fresca, of Sorrento s Peninsula, with very delicate taste, the mozzarella di bufala, fresh cheese made with buffalo's milk, produced mostly on the region of Aversa and in the plain of Seal River, the Fiordilat, similar to mozzarella, but made with cow's milk, it is best produced in the region of Agerola, the Provola. A fumicata, a Fiordilat with scent of oak wood smoke, Light brown on the exterior, more yellowish inside, the Baconsini del Cardinale, or Borelli, small mozzarellas, preserved in clay pots, flooded into cream or milk, the scammers, white or smoked, the Burini di Sorrento, small provolone cheese with a butter heart, the provolone, the cacio cavalli of different aging. Fusion Cuisine Notes The Chasinili, baby fishes, very small and transparent, prepared either steamed or fried in a dough, the Fravolio, few centimeter long, mainly of triglia or retunni, typically fried. Sausage, salsix and servalatin, with not finely hand-cut meat, pork liver, rounded in a net of pork's fat and a bay leaf, tripa and other more humble cuts of pork or beef, like the typical o peri o muso, and the zuppa di sofrito, a spicy soup with tomato and hot chili pepper, bracioli, pork rolls stuffed with raisins, pine nuts and parsley, fixed with toothpicks and cooked in raga superscript 1, lamb and goat are roasted, usually with potatoes and peas, typically around Easter, rabbit and chicken. Often cooked a la cacciatora, pan fried with tomatoes, beef or other red meat with tomatoes, cooked for a long time to tenderize an inexpensive piece of meat as in carne pizzaiola. The Bolognese sauce, vaguely inspired by the Raga superscript 1 Emiliano, prepared with minced carrot and onion, ground beef and tomato, the Genovese sauce, not inspired by Genoa in spite of the name, but prepared with meat browned with abundant onions and other aromatics. Spaghetti alla evangeli or other shellfishes, pottery con la zuppa di pesce, pasta con i calamari, with squid sauce, cooked with white wine. Alicidorate e frit, boneless anchovies, passed in flour, egg, and deep fried, alici marinate, raw anchovies marinated in lemon juice or vinegar, then dressed with olive oil, garlic, and parsley, alici oreganate, boneless anchovies, rapidly cooked in a large pan with olive oil, lemon juice, and oregano. The Parmigiana de Melanzane 
aubergine pie with tomato sauce and fior d'ilet, the gata superscript 2 de potate, potato pie stuffed with cheese and salami, the pepperoni ripiani, stuffed whole peppers, the melanzana barchetta, aubergines cut in half, the center scooped out and filled with different types of stuffing. Zucchine al escapes, deep fried sliced zucchini dressed with vinegar and fresh mint, melanzana fungheti, fried aubergines, in two versions, stick shaped and fried, then dressed with cherry tomato sauce, or dice fried, with no tomato, pepperoni in padella, sliced peppers pan fried with black gata olives and capers, pepperoncini verdi fritti, local small non-spicy green peppers, dressed with cherry tomato sauce, friarelli, local vegetable leaves, pan fried with oil, garlic and chili pepper. They often are side dishes of fried sausages and serve a Latin, which are sometimes also accompanied by potato fries, typically cut as small dices. The pizza di scarola, prepared with fried scaroli with garlic, pine nuts, raisins, black gata olives and capers. Those vegetables are the stuffing for the pie, which is made with a simple dough of flour, water and yeast. The Casatiello, or Tortino, typical of Easter holidays, usually prepared for the day after Easter, usually spent outdoor. Baba, Sfogliatella, in two varieties, Frolla or Riccia. Two variations are the Santa Rosa, larger and with an additional stuffing of cream and black cherry, and the Cota di Aragosta with the bigna inside and stuffed with various types of cream, zeppole, deep-fried or baked, pastiera, prepared for Easter holidays, struffoli typical Christmas cake, delizia al limoni. Struffoli, Rocca superscript 2, Mastaka Uli, Suzamili. Jean Cara superscript 2 La Francesconi. La Vera Cusina di Napoli, edit. Newton, 1995, Frigino Magnano, Salvatore di Freya Editor, Potswali, contains a large variety of recipes and creative Neapolitan dishes. The aristocratic cuisine used pasta for elaborate recipes, like the timbali, rarely used in everyday food. Richer sauces, more elaborate than the vegetable pasta dishes mentioned above, that are frequently used to dress pasta include. With the Neapolitan Raga superscript 1 the most traditionally used pasta are the ziti, long macaroni, that are broken into shorter pieces by hand before cooking. The Neapolitan Raga superscript 1 is also used, together with fior dilet to dress the gnocchi alla sorrentina, then cooked in oven in a small single portion clay pot. Spaghetti, linguine and pottery match very well with fish and seafood. From this union come the dishes typical of important lunches or dinners. The most typical ones are. There are many more varieties, for instance spaghetti with a white sauce of Mediterranean cod. Sometimes the traditional dishes of pasta with legumes can be mixed with seafood, so there are, for instance, pasta e fagioli con le cose, or other more modern variations, like pasta with zucchine and clams, that lose any traditional connotation. The most famous rice dish is the Sarda superscript 1 di riso, a sort of timbalo made with rice stuffed with chicken livers, sausage, little meatballs, fior de latte or provola, peas, mushrooms, and with Neapolitan raga superscript 1, or, in the white version with B.A. copyright camel sauce. In the cuisine of the poor, rice is also cooked as riso e verza, flavored with little pieces of parmigiano-reggiano cheese crusts that slightly melt while cooking. 
A seafood rice dish is the risotto alla pescatora, prepared with various mollusks, shrimps, and a broth made from the boiling of seafood shells. The arancini, more typical of Sicilian cuisine, are also frequently used in Naples. Pizza is the most popular and best known creation of all Neapolitan cuisine. It soon became very popular among the people as well as barons or princes, it was present in the Bourbon court. King Ferdinand I experienced cooking pizza in Capodimonte's porcelain ovens. After Italian unification, the new kings were also attracted by this southern food. The Pizzaiolo Raffaele Esposito created in 1889, in honor to Queen Margarita of Savoy, is a nationalistic pizza, where the colors of the Italian flag were represented by the mozzarella, tomato, and basil. Since then this pizza is called the Pizza Margarita. Pizza can be cheap and nutritious, so it had great success very quickly. Sometimes pizza is made in home ovens, but the real Neapolitan pizza must be cooked in a wood-fired oven, handmade by an able pizzaiolo who makes the dough disc thinner in the center and thicker in the outer part, the ingredients and olive oil are rapidly spread on the disc, and with a quick movement the pizza is put on the shovel and then slid in the oven where it is turned around a few times for uniform cooking. One of the most famous main courses is a seafood dish recipe coming from the quarter Santa Lucia, Polpi alla Luciana, octopus cooked with chili pepper and tomato. Octopus is also simply steamed, and prepared as salad with lemon juice, parsley, and green olives. A richer seafood salad can be prepared also mixing squid, cuttlefish, and prawns. Medium-sized fishes are cooked all aqua pazza, with tomato, garlic, and parsley, the larger ones are simply grilled, accompanied, in the most important meals, with king-size prawns. Mussels are prepared in different ways, rapidly steamed with black pepper, and dressed with a few drops of lemon juice each, also cooked al gratin. Clams and other shellfishes are also cooked soda copyright, rapidly passed in a large pan with olive oil, garlic, and served on crust breads. Vincenzo Carrado, il cuoco galanti, in Napolitan language, 3 edition, 1786, edit by Forni, Sala Bolognese, 1990, Vincenzo Carrado. Pranza giornaliri variati ed imbanditi in 672 vivande secondo i prodotti della stagione, in Napolitan language, 3 edition, 1832, re edit by Grimaldi, Naples, 2001, Ippolito Cavalcanti Cusinica Russia, in Napolitan language, 1839. Re-edited by I.L. Polyphilo, Milan, 2005, Ippolito Cavalcanti Cusinati Orico, Pratica, in lingua napolitana, 1852, re-edited by Grimaldi, Naples, 2002. Cheap fish can also produce very tasty recipes. The most popular one is anchovy. The best recipes are Sicinioli, the tiny baby fishes, are either steamed and dressed with oil and lemon, or deep fried in a light dough, which is also used to deep fry little pieces of some sea algae. The frittura di paranza is usually done with small sized local fishes, like cod, goatfish, anchovies, and others. It should be eaten very hot, right after being fried. Baby shrimps, sold alive, are fried with no flour, unlike the paranza. Vegetable dishes can become very rich and elaborated. The most famous are 
Fried fish was already mentioned above in the text. Many vegetables are deep fried with flour and egg, artichoke, zucchini, cauliflower. The richest version add pieces of liver, ricotta and, in the past, cow's brain. Mozzarella can be prepared dorata e fritta as well and also in carraza, passed in flour and egg together with two bread slices softened in milk, to form a small sandwich. Typical Neapolitan fried food are also the croca, stuffed potato balls passed in bread crumbs and deep fried, or also the sayurali, zucchini's male flowers fried in a dough, that can also be bought on the streets of Naples historical center in typical fried food shops together with scagliazzi, pasta caresciut and aubergine slices. Onions, fried up to a golden color are the base for the famous frittata di sipal. After pasta, the main second course meals are frequently accompanied by side dishes. The most popular ones are Savory pies are convenient for outdoor food. The most popular savory pies are Neapolitan cuisine has a large variety of cakes and desserts. The most famous ones are Ice creams are famous as well. The most traditional are the cavalli and the spumoni. Holiday recipes deserve a dedicated section because of their variety and richness. Christmas Eve dinner is usually the time when all family members join. It is typically done with spaghetti alla evangeli followed by capitone fritto and bacala fritto. As a side dish there is the insalata di rinforzo, a salad made with steamed cauliflower, giardinera, spicy and sweet peppers, olives and anchovies, all dressed with oil and vinegar. Christmas cakes are Christmas Eve dinner is completed with the sciogiol, which are dried fruits, dried figs and the castani del pret, baked chestnuts. Christmas lunch has typically the minestra maritata or handmade pasta with chicken broth. The main Easter dishes are the cassatiello or tortino, a salty pie made with bread dough stuffed with various types of salami and cheese, also used the day after Easter for outdoor lunches. Typical of Easter lunches and dinners is the falata, a banquet of salami and capo callo and salty ricotta. Typical dishes are also lamb or goat baked with potatoes and peas. Easter cake is the paste era. Carnival has the Neapolitan version of lasagna, that has no BA copyright camel sauce, unlike other Italian versions. As dessert, there is the sanguinaxio dolce with Savoyardi biscuits, or also the kayakier, diffused all over Italy with different names. November 2nd cake is the Torone dei morti, which, unlike the usual Torone is not made with honey and almonds, but with cocoa and a variety of suffings, like hazelnuts, dried and candy fruits or also coffee and more. Fruit is often present at the end of a meal. Local production is abundant, one of the most popular local products is the Anurka apple, a local type of apple whose origins are old indeed, it is believed to have first been planted by the Romans. Slices of watermelon were in old times sold in little street shops, nowadays disappeared. The sweet and tasty yellow peach is also sometimes used, chopped in pieces to add flavor to red wine coming from Monte de Prachita, cold and somewhat similar to Spanish sangria. Many wines from Campania match very well to the local cuisine. Among white wines the most famous are Greco di Tufo, Falangana, Fiano di Avellino and Asprinio di Aversa, while the most famous red wines are Aglianico, Torossi, Campi Flagri e Pi di Rosso also known as Per e Palamo, Solopaca, Lacrima Christi from Vesuvius 
that is produced both white and red. The most abundant lunches or dinners end with coffee and liqueur. Limoncello is now world famous, but once upon a time the most preferred one was the liquor AI Quattro Frutti, with lemon, orange, tangerine limo, which is a local variation of bergamot orange, now very rare. Nocillo is also very popular all over Italy, and is the most appreciated bitter liqueur. In Naples, the use of buying and eating food in the streets dates to very ancient times. The origins probably date back to Roman Thermopolia or maybe earlier. Typical fried food can still today be bought in little shops, like pasta caresciut, scagliazzi, and sayurli, or deep fried aubergines. Pizza is also prepared in small sizes to be eaten in the street the so-called pizza a libretto, still found in Naples pizzerias in Via Dei Tribunale, Port Alba, and Piazza Cavour. In Via Pignaseca, in the historical center, there are still some carnacutari shops, selling various types of tripe, operi o muso or the old zuppa e carnicata. From Mergellina to Via Caracciolo there are still several little shops selling Terralai and Zogna e Pepet. Nowadays the old typical Obroro e Purpo has become extremely rare to find. A few decades ago, street shops sold O Spasishampo, a mix of baked hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, toasted chickpeas, and lupins under brine. Many Neapolitan cookery books report classic recipes, but also reinterpretations in Neapolitan style of other rye set. So, it is not unusual to find recipes like cotoletta alla Milanese, carne alla Genovese, sugo alla Bolognese, and other. Books with both classic and revisited recipes are the oldest Neapolitan cuisine is reported in the books of classic authors, including